Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Jonathan Benson. The 28th annual Father Martian Peters Basketball Classic in the history books. Our Julian Gibson was courtside for championship Saturday. Benson, the Father Martian Peters Basketball Tournament wrapping up on Saturday. Primary school girls play Temple Christian. Blasted freedom, 21 to 9. We got layoffs and uh, free throws, but I really think we need to work on our defense. How it feels winning? Feels great. We play very well and nice and awesome. We have to work on our defense, and I think we could have done better than we did today. i just happy we win. We tried our best, and I had a few we were going to win. In junior girls' play, Harbor Island put up a fight, but it was all H.O. Nash and Coach Patty Johnson, 23-18. to 18. We didn't play as we supposed to, but we did one, and I am thankful for that. I think we performed very well, but we could have played more defense and get the rebounds. We missed a lot of layups and didn't make our free throws. Last year, we were trying to get, we came second, and to come first and to really make it and finish, it really helped us a lot. I, I love it. It feels very good to bring back the championship back to our school because last year we came second and we wanted to show Miss Jay that we could do what we have to do. In the boys' primary school championship game, Harbor Island outlasted our ladies 27 to 19. We play good, catch a couple steals, make buckets, and get back on defense. In the junior boys' championship game, Harbor Island simply took apart T.A. Thompson. The boys from Brawlin winning 29 to 19. We just listen to our coach, do what we had to do, and come there to win, man. We play good defense. We, we make big man, we swallow the paint, make sure the defenders won't get in there. And I was doing my part, getting all the block shots and getting the rebounds as a big man. Last year we lost three guys. We come here and get two this year. Intermediate boys championship game, C.I. Gibson all over since Salvador, 40 to 33. How does this championship feel for you for all you've been through so far this year? <laughs> Feels good. You know, I mean, you know, we went free board and we did a good job down there. My senior team and these intermediate boys uh, came down there and won it bad and um, they deserve the win. Since Salvador is a real, uh, very good team, well coached team by S. Brown, he does it. he's doing a very good job down there since Salvador and it feels good for C.I. Gibson Nation down there. And in the Senior Girls Championship game, C.R. Walker walked past Temple Christian Senior Girls 28 to 25. We had a little fight, but we still fight through it. Um, my teammates played pretty good. We got to do a little more defense, but hey, we still come out as a championship. I think we performed pretty good. We got to do better. It was a good fight, but we got to push through it harder. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. All right, thanks a lot, Julian. Well, the Giorgio Baldacci 2012 Open Nationals underway at the National Tennis Center. Qualifying round started this morning and continued through tomorrow. Play in the main draw, that gets underway on Wednesday. We have a sign-up of over 24, 26 boys, and we have, I guess, the maximum eight. The girls always fall short, and that's something we really need to work on, I think, in all sporting areas with girls, because, I mean, there are so many scholarships out there for girls. So I think everyone should come now and watch the matches. Well, the Commonwealth American Football League back on the gridiron yesterday at the Donald Davis playing field. The defending champions, the Campbell's V8 Fusion Stingrays, using some stifling defense early on to force a couple of turnovers from the pros. That resulted in the Rays taking an early 12-0 lead. From there, the pros would respond with a pair of touchdowns by Charles Edwards. They went up 14-12 late in the third quarter. Midway through the fourth, though, Jamal Storr scored his second touchdown of the game for the Stingrays, and that combined with the late goal line stand was the difference as the Rays beat the pros for the second time this season and stayed undefeated at 5-0 with an 18-14 victory. The loss dropped the pros back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. Well, the fourth annual Georgette Roll Junior Golf Camp taking place over the weekend at the Blue Hills Driving Range. Roll says this camp is a great way to provide our youth with the opportunity to develop life enhancing values. I started the game of golf when I was six years old, and I'm still playing this game. This game has allowed me to, um, you know, like I don't have any college loans, no bills, you know, and so like this game has taken me really far, all right? I was able to get a few degrees with it. You know, golf is, I mean, like, golf is that sport that can provide tons of scholarships, okay? So, like, you don't have to be the best golfer, but if you can play this game well, you can get a full college scholarship. 
Now, the sports minister, Dr. Daniel Johnson, made an appearance at the junior golf camp, and he applauded Roll for giving back and not forgetting where she came from. People like Georgette that tell the story of the Bahamas, the bridge. You, talk, you remember we named the bridge after Sir Sidney Poitier? That's a past, present, future. The past is guys like Nine Roll, Fred Higgs. Nine Roll taught me to play golf, I told her the other day. Yeah. And we're naming this, this area out here in the bucket Nine Roll, Nine Holes. Wow. That was the past. Georgette is a golf pro, one of the best that we've ever seen, and she is the present, right? But guess what? Y'all are the future. Bingo. Well, the second annual Atlantis Crown Gymnastics Invitational taking place at the Imperial Ballroom over the weekend. Unlike in 2011, this year's event did not feature any male gymnasts. Kevan Dean of Bahamas Star Gymnastics explains why this change was made. Well, it's kind of a transition year um, in men's gymnastics, and um, but we expect fully that you know we'll come back uh, next year when they come back that we'll have some men, uh, a men program as well. Um, certainly, the club, the clubs in the Bahamas actually. are planning to go to four additional offshore meets in addition to the meets and the activities that we do here locally. And so we have three meets in Florida that we're looking at um, attending. Um, one is in uh, Fort Lauderdale, one is in Tampa, and one is in Orlando. And then we will be attending a meet in Michigan as well um, this season. So they're excited. We have a full action pack. Um, uh, a full action packed calendar. We have, I think, about 24 or 25 um, athletes on, on the team this year, which again, that doubled from last year. So that's, that's great to see the enthusiasm. And that will do it for sports, but stay tuned, your weather forecast still to come.